Hello, welcome to the Office of International Affairs. How may I help you? Hello, I'm a new international student at SNU. I would like to inquire about banking facilities on campus. Can you help me with that? Yes, yeah, sure. There are three different banks on SNU campus. There's Uri Bank in the Faculty of Humanities in Building Number no. 4. And there's Chinan Bank in Student Center Number no. 63. And in Building Number no. 109, pretty close to the giant pond, there's Nongyeo Bank. Oh, I see. I do not know much about banking in Korea. Would you like to recommend me which bank would be more comfortable? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't have like personal recommendations, but I can tell you more details about each bank so you can make a more informed decision. So how about we chat at the lobby with a nice cup of tea? Oh, that would be lovely. Many students on campus use Uri Bank. You might have seen them sitting beside the office where you made your escort. As I mentioned before, Uri Bank is located in building number four of the College of Humanities. So they offer a lot of like services, including assistance in English, Japanese, and Chinese, to mention a few. That sounds really helpful. Do they also have facilities for currency exchange? Yeah, sure. The campus branch offers currency exchange services for Chinese Yuan, Euro, Pound, Hong Kong Dollar, Japanese Yen, Singaporean Dollar, Thailand baht and American dollar. But you gotta keep in mind that you need to carry your ARC and passport with you in order to exchange the money. That's excellent. Do these banks also offer online service? Any applications I can download? Yes, they do offer online banking services and applications. You can access URI Global Banking app on your App Store or Play Store. So you can access information in various languages without actually having to visit the bank. If you struggle with Korean, Hinan Bank might be a good choice for you. They have excellent English customer service, as well as an online banking app, available not only in English, but in a variety of other foreign languages. They also have a lot of ATMs, so they're quite convenient when you want to withdraw your money. But there are also many good banks outside our campus. For example, Kungmin or KB Bank and Hana Bank are located quite close to the main subway stations close to our campus, i.e. SNU Station and Naksangde Station, respectively. You can also open an account there if you'd like. These banks also offer a range of currency exchange and banking services that are foreigner-friendly and available in several languages. Thank you so much. Thank you for the information. Is there anything else that I need to bring with me? Yes, you'll need your residence card, a Korean phone number in your name, and a certificate of enrollment. Oh, but my residence card has not been issued yet. Can I make an account without that? Yes, yeah, some banks might allow you to open a bank account with only your passport, but it depends on the bank as well as on your nationality. And it also may have some limitations compared to opening with your RC. So I would recommend waiting until you get your RC. But if it's really urgent, it's best to ask the bank directly for the specifics. Okay. Oh, thank you for the information. But what about the certificate of enrollment? Where do I get that? Well, you have two options. It is available on the SNU portal, so you can print it out on your own if you'd like. But if you have trouble finding or printing it, you can also visit the first floor of the administration building. They can issue it for you right there without the fees. Oh, that's handy, but where is the administration building? Mm. It's building number 60, and it's pretty close to the student center, the building at the end of the grass field, Chandi Gwangjang. It's in the building, first floor on the left side, if you're looking from the grass field. Okay, so I need the residence card, Korean phone number, and uh, certificate of enrollment. Is that all? Uh, depending on the bank, account type, and your home country, there might be other things, for example, a deposit, proof of address, or your domestic ID. Proof of address? What is that? A confirmation from the dormitories, or perhaps your housing contract, if you stay outside campus. So it's best to ask the bank directly, since it might depend on your particular case. I see. Um, I will check with them after I get my residence card. In the meantime, I bought some money with me, uh, but it's not in one. Can I exchange it in one of the banks? 
Sure. If you have US dollars, euros, Japanese yen, and Chinese yuan, then any bank on campus can exchange it for you. If you have another currency, then Nongyeop is your best bet. They carry most of the common currencies. Just keep in mind that when exchanging more than 100,000 won, you need to present your passport. Great, thank you. This session was so helpful. I think I have all the information I needed. Thank you so much for your time and efforts. Glad that this was helpful. So feel free to visit us anytime if you have any more questions. So have a great day. Thank you.